Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, talk about uh, how to install the universal PCB OM200. Actually, in the in the box, uh, you can see the installation structures uh, from here, from back of the box, and uh, in this OM200 box. There are one water level sensor and uh, one pack of accessories and uh, one panel and of course the PC. Okay, so now you can see we already connected. So, but later I will tell you how to do it. Um, and this is the original PCB, we need it to help us to connect these wires. Okay, let's start. Okay, so uh, if you do it, you need to um, unconnect all the sockets, but I think when you do it, you don't need to uh, unconnect other socks at one time you need you you can do it one by one so it will help you to uh to 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 remind uh, remind you which one is which one so but now i already untouched it so uh, i still will tell you how to do it so i think the first one you need to do the wire First skill, see um, this wire. You need to do this wire. You need to do this wire. You need to connect to this. I think you, you need to use the scissor or something and take out the wires and uh, make this one. I think I think you 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 will do better than me. And okay. So usually, usually uh, when you see like this one, like for example, like this one is for the power here, here. See the white one, the white socket. You can see it, white socket. Okay. So uh, originally it was connected with this. Right and uh, probably this. So when you do it, it works like this. And uh, when you unconnect it, you will know. Maybe you need to cut this and uh, make a, this thing make this thing on this line right so but you know for us this is just for the test so we cannot connect we cannot cut this and uh, make this one so it's because it's convenience for us to do like this we we just uh, uh, add the extra wire so it's we we added the extra wire it would uh, be convenient for us to uh, to to have a test many you know we have so many pcbs so we can do many tests based on this line <clears throat> so just uh, still take this example like this power right this white one and and the, uh, it was like this. So you can see the upper one. You, you, I think uh, in your PCB also you can see the the, the corner inside. It, it will write in or arrow, right? So you can see. Okay, what what I can see is uh, uh, the upper one is L, and the below one is N 
so I can know that this is L line wire and this is N wire. So back to our PCB, back to one PCB. So you can trace that. This this is L. Oh, maybe some some light problem something. This L and this N. So we can do it like this. Okay. Okay. So this L uh, go to this one. Oh, because and uh, this L just for your uh, watching. So I use maybe you you you, you have a problem with this. Actually, uh, we made this extra one just for for convenience for us. So you don't need to do it, right? So for you, you just uh, as you, once you know that this this L, this N, so you just uh, put this L on to this L and N to this N. So just uh, connect accordingly. But uh, okay, so you can see this L. I take the L one. Was it here? <clears throat> okay, this is N, right? Check it carefully because it's for power. So if you made it wrong, it uh, it won't work. The washing machine won't work. So it's important. L and N. L and N. Okay, so now what's left? Um <clears throat> Okay, so there is two more, two more socket. One is blue, one the red. This is motor. So motor and uh, inlet valves. So it's uh, where? So in the PC in the left of the PCB you can see motor and the inlet valve and the drain valve right so we find it from here so we can see the blue one Okay, we go to find this. So when you do it, you just uh, make make it one by one, so you won't do it wrong. Okay, so n plus n minus. So same, you find this, you find this socket, like in a shirt or like this, and 
and uh, you will know which one is which one, right? Because inside uh, it has some information here, so you accordingly connect this. And also the inlet valves and the gen valves, this one also. Just like the power one, you can make it the correct connection. So now go to the, the water sense level sensor. Okay, <clears throat> here is also one, in one important point. You know, so it was important that you never wrong connect the middle one see can you see the SSW always 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 make sure the SSW in in the middle in the middle always in the middle see always in the middle It's important that use our water level sensor. Use ours. Use the IMPCB's water level sensor. It's important because maybe um, if you use your own, it will get some worms because it's some different um, frequency problems. Okay, see. The middle one, the middle, see, the middle connect to the middle, and other two you can connect randomly, whatever, whenever. Okay, so what level sense is finished? Okay, connect here. If you get the wrong connection with the, if you made a mistake with the middle wire, you will get warning. And this is the door. This is for the door wire. <clears throat> Actually, usually, if for your convenience, you can make it short circuits, so the door wouldn't would not get warning whenever you use the washing machine actually it, it's just it's convenience for you if you get connect to the to the to the door wires in the wash with your washing machine it will be take a lot of a lot more works but if you just uh, get it like this short circuits so it will be convenient because and because there's yes, uh, not so big a deal if use the door or don't use the door so i think it's better to make it like this so okay so just this we finished now i connect the panel check the power. I connect to power so it can work. Oh, okay. Okay. <coughs> 